Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Queen Cups Tarot. You're with Destiny here. I'm just shuffling up your cards, getting ready to do your July 2018 love reading. Um, this channel is brand spanking new. Um, I'm not new to tarot, uh, just new to YouTube. So please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I will leave my email address in the description box. Um, I do do personal readings. Um, I do not charge for them. So, um, you know, I just do them when I can and when I'm able to. So uh, send me an email. Um, I'll reach back out with my availability to either make a Skype or um, a phone call. I like to do my readings live. I find them to be more accurate and more specific. So, um, yeah, reach out to me if you can and also leave your comments. Um, like I said, I'm new to YouTube. So any constructive criticism, criticism that you might have or any feedback or anything like that, um, you know, Definitely don't hesitate to to leave a comment or or share what your feedback. I'm very open like that. So anyway, I'm almost finished shuffling here. Sorry if I sound a little stuffed up. Um, it's allergy season where I'm at. Please, spirit, please give me clear and concise messages for my Aries. For July 2018 love and relationships for my Aries that are embarking into new relationships um, any confirmation on whether they're on the right path for my single Aries um, that are hoping for new love any indication if that's on the horizon for them or something you can expect or any blockages that are stopping those uh, new relationships from happening and of course for my Aries that are in relationships whether short term or long um, going through any trial or tribulation or uh, need any kind of counsel or out insight please let's provide uh, that to them today through these cards spirit thank you okay ha huh. the overall energy for this reading is the three of wands now the kind of reading that i do i'm going to pull um three cards and i want to keep this just because i felt called to as the overall energy um i'm going to pull three cards three cards are going to be um uh, reflective of the energy that you're going to leave june with and go into the month of july with and then i'm going to pull three cards that are going to be um, indicative of the overall dominating energy of the month and then three cards for the energy that you're going to leave the month and go into um august with okay Excuse me. For my single Aries, I see a lot of you have been beaten down and have taken some time to reflect. A lot of you have purposely spent time alone. Um, maybe even, and when I say alone, I think, you know, a lot of you might have been having casual sex with people, but I mean, you know, um, some of you have literally just been celibate, but I mean, emotionally, not in a relationship, <coughs> not emotionally uh, tethered, and that's due to the fact of, of being hurt. 
um, and cards are urging you for the month of July to really look forward and rebuild. <coughs> look to the horizon. You're a fire sign. This is fire energy. That's the overall energy. So to me, the overall energy is all surrounded by you, not necessarily the person that you're thinking about. Or, you know, if you're reading this and it's a love and relationship reading, you're thinking about someone, it's not the person. This, this These cards are reflecting more your energy. And the council, the message is more directly to your action that you need to take. Okay? Because this directly translates into knights are messengers and they're fast messages and they're clear messages and they come in hot. They're not insecure messages like pages that come in a little here and a little there and sprinkle in. No, no, no. This comes in hot. And the message is the three of wands and the three of wands is to rebuild. You After the two of wands, the two, sorry, the two of wands is a crossroad. And with the three, I think... I think you have come a long way. And I think you know that. But it doesn't change the fact that you've been disappointed. For some of you, um, the person that you're holding on to this hurt to is, uh, some of it is, some of them is uh, possibly a Cancer, um, possibly a Capricorn, uh, another fire sign. I see air. I see everything. I don't get too hung up on the signs. Sometimes I'll say them just to try to create a synchronicity for you to help you resonate. But for the most part, it can be any sign, guys. You know, there's only 12 signs. It can be any sign. For those of my Aries, um, Yeah. For my single Aries, um, I see someone from the past coming back. And I don't know if it's somebody you want to see because I believe it's somebody who stole from you, lied to you, and deceived you. And I think you were happy when they were gone. You were happy when that was over. I think some of you ended a relationship... Um, in June. That you were happy to see go. Or happy to have found the courage to leave. But this person does come back. At the end of June, this person does come back. I mean, the end of July. I do see that. And for some of you, I see... For my, my Aries that have been in long-term relationships, I think a lot of you have been hoping that this person is going to give you this. But I think they more so have you because it's in reverse. I feel like this person, your partner, has you having your entire household situation feeling you insecure about your entire stability. For those of my Aries that, you know... Their partner is the father of their kids, their husband, long-term partners. I think you've been waiting and hoping to have the life you always intended and was hoping for you to have. I think a lot of you are don't want to be burdened anymore. And I think a lot of you Aries that have been in long-term relationships have been spending time over the past few months contemplating heartbreak that this person has caused. I think a lot of you have decided you don't want to move forward because you feel burdened by the relationship. Because it's not giving you the stability after all these years that it should. Because it should be like this. Especially for my Aries who've been in long-term relationships. This is a practical card. And at, at 10, that means you are 
content and feeling great and your hard work has paid off and you and your partner build and finally achieved the Ten of Pentacles, a stable, solid household that functions, the kids are good, everything, it's a, a, a fine running engine, but it's not. And I think you've been contemplating throughout the month of June what Yes, you've decided you don't want to move forward with the relationship anymore. Yes, you decided this is a burden and that you've pretty much had enough. You've also identified that this person hasn't brought you... You guys haven't gotten to where you're supposed to be. And I think both of you, not just you, both of you are aware of that. Because I think both of you had dreams for where the relationship would be. And both of you are a bit disappointed or feeling stuck with regards to how to get it here. And I think that's all due to heartbreak that isn't being let go. It might be even heartbreak that hasn't yet been communicated. That some of you are um, feeling instinctually is there. Whether, whether a new or old relationship, I think some of you are suspicious of more lies, more deceit more betrayal and I think for some of you Aries you don't communicate I think some of you may even find out information and not communicate it I you, you find out something about your partner uh, a betrayal a deceit of some kind but you don't let them know you know this is this is in the bulk of July and this is after already feeling spent. And then this person comes in again and hurts you. And I want to get some clarification here on this Seven of Swords and this Three of Swords in reverse. A lot of you Aries that are in relationships, and I feel for a lot of you, um, it's the ones in long-term relationships that you really have on the mind. You're 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 look you're considering, or at least you're thinking of making forward movement and rebuilding based off of the energy you went into the month, which which is I want to not go forward. I don't feel victorious in this relationship. I do not want to yield forward quickly anymore. I don't want to go forward anymore because I'm burdened and I've pretty much had enough. And I've been thinking about this from some time. And there's something that might have given you a different perspective because the hangman, if you see, yeah, he's not doing anything. Yeah, he's stuck there hanging. And there is a sense of stagnation with this card. But what rings true to me is his viewpoint. He's upside down because he's getting a different perspective on the world. So when he does decide to untie himself and return back to the world as is, he's going to have a whole different world, a different way of looking at things that he can apply to his normal reality. Because this isn't his normal reality. You're going to come out of this with a new way of thinking. Some of you that are typically very confrontational in your relationships, so your partner, when their partner screws up or does something, you yell, you scream. This time, you're not. For some of you, you're going to hear communication of a betrayal from your partner, and you're not going to communicate it to them. Or... Yeah. 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 You know, for for my Aries, what I'm looking here for my Aries that are going through whether it's a newer relationship or this is more for my 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 Aries that have been in relationships longer than, you know, a year or two and longer, 10, 20, whatever. 
but at least a year or two. I do see a lot of you are actually that are that's going that is this resonates with that is considering leaving their partner but hasn't made that move yet. You haven't made the move because this is a past life love or a love that has been around since childhood. So somebody you've dated since you were a kid or somebody that you were with in a past life. Like I said, for my single Aries, this could be somebody from your past coming back at the end of uh, July that caused you all of this pain. And one of you, um, either you or your partner, walked away from the relationship and decided not to proceed forward. And through introspection, one, if not you, the other person decides to come back. And this is a karmic tie. But there is not being a release of this negative energy. So for a lot of you, what I see is, is that a perpetuation of a karmic cycle. So a karmic cycle not coming to an end and going through another phase. So it's very likely that August might be very light and loving and fun. And you might have some good moments in August after all of this with this person because in the cycle there's the highs and the lows and the highs and the lows and the highs and the lows right and for a lot of you going into august i see the high coming back even after all this and i see for a lot for my singles I see you moving forward with this person with a desire to want to rebuild with them. I see for my single Aries who have been a, 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 a single but still attached to this past hurt. You're, they're coming back, but I don't see them offering you anything other than the negative codependent relationship that you had when you last dated them, whether it was a year five years ago, I, I don't know, but I don't see that changing. I see that remaining the same. And I see this causing you to not be yourself and be insecure. You know, the, the queen of wands being a fire sign herself, and this could be for man, woman, doesn't matter. And it's upright. She, she's hot. She knows she's hot. She walks into the room and she knows, or he knows that all the girls or all the men are looking at them. They know they, 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 they got the, that, that they have that sauce. But when, she, when the Queen of Wands is upside down, she's insecure of this. And she's not moving in the hot, fiery, passionate way that she's accustomed to moving. She's also quite free-spirited as well. She does whatever the fuck she wants to do. Very typical of Aries. I know a few. Um... A part of me feels like for some of you, um, I pulled the six of um, swords. The six of swords um, from Roman Roman times has been the card card of travel. So with with the six of wands and the six of um, swords here, I see some of you needing to retreat. Because you know you're not in your right form. Whether that's some of you take a vacation, whether that's some of you move out and move back to your parents or, you know, take your space. Some of you may go on a trip with this partner and re-spark love with them through this vacation. I do see for my single Aries, though, that this person is traveling towards you. They're making their way 
towards you, somebody you've dated in the past. But be very careful, Aries, the one, especially for the ones that are single. If this person or when this person does come back, please be very wary because cards show me that it's the same old, same old. Same old. Like there's nothing new they're going to bring to you that you don't already know. So the saying an X is an X for a reason. I'm seeing that for my single Aries who have somebody from the past come back. I don't see... Even if you guys get back together, start dating, or even just sleep together, I don't see long-term it being anything different than what it is right now. And for my Aries that have been in long-term relationships, I see a lot of you really contemplating leaving this relationship. But you don't because you're feeling insecure. That could be for different reasons, you know. There's many reasons why people become insecure, but that insecurity is contributing to your karmic cycle. Now, you can break a karmic cycle and start a new one with some, the same person, but you have to debt it first before you can restart with somebody new or even that person. The hard part is, is with restarting with somebody else is they have to be willing to do it too. And it's very hard to get that, which is why most breakups happen, is because one is willing to and the other one isn't. So it's really for you to decide. Have you had enough? Do you have the confidence that what you actually want is out there in somebody else? Are you confident that you can find it in somebody else? Have you exhausted all options with this partner romantically to know that they can't give you what it is that you need? Are you willing to let the, the heartache go or are you just going to hold it in and sit on it now at this point because there's no point in addressing this person with the betrayal or with your issues because they're only going to just shove, shove them down, down your face. So now I'm just not going to say anything. What kind of life is that? What are you looking for is really what I'm gathering here from these cards is asking is what are what is it that you want? What is it, what is it that you want? Because you have to figure that out. And for my single Aries, okay, you need to figure it out, figure out what it is that you want before you start playing with the law of attraction. Because you might play around and get really fucked up and actually draw what you, you, you thought you wanted to yourself. And then the universe shows you that you actually didn't really want. So be mindful of your power to manifest things to you. Okay? Be confident. And if you're not feeling confident, you need to identify, literally itemize on a piece of paper the things about you that you love, that other people around you love, things about you that you need. Be grateful for yourself. That, that confidence will lead you to make any decisions that it is that you need to make, whether it's rebuild the relationship you're already in, leave it, embark on a new one. Um, let go of past hurt so that you can receive new love, whatever it is. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Be it's all you guys. So. Yeah. What I see here is that a lot of you need to do for yourself first because I pulled the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles and then I pulled the king of wands and the nine of pentacles. Your king, you're a fire sign, right? And anytime I pull two, court, two matching king and queens of a suit in the same card, this is a faded relationship. You're meant to be in this relationship with this person or the person you're about to embark on. But, or the past hurt that you went through was faded, so just stop like beating yourself up about it. It was meant to happen. You were karmically meant to learn those lessons. But what I see here with this queen of pentacles and this fiery energy, that's a blend that you need to have. 
whether you're man or woman watching this, you need to culminate your fiery, passionate energy, but your pragmatism, what you feel and what you know, what your soul wants and what your actual life needs. They need to merge. You need to get th those two parts of you need to be on the same page. Because once they are, you're going to get this. You see, Aries are leaders. You guys are leaders. And a lot of you underestimate your ability to lead your partner in a relationship. And the problem with leaders is when leaders don't lead and they let other people lead, they're like backseat drivers. Yeah, you can drive. And then you hop in the front seat, you start driving your car, and then the Aries in the back seat's like, yeah, make the right and the left over there, and you gotta speed up over here, and no, you shouldn't have did it's like, didn't you just don't you just wanna drive? So, Aries, instead of offering up the seat, because you really wanna lead, so you might as well. And when I say lead, you gotta lead like this, not just like this fiery energy. Because there needs to be a balance. Because I think for some of you, if you are leading, you're leading only with this. And Spirit's telling me you need to balance out your energy and be a little bit more realistic and pragmatic with what you're offering your partner. And I think if you change your approach to how you deal with your partner, with these clarifier cards, and you balance out your energy, I really do think... There's a chance to change your king or queen or partner. And it's going to drive them to give you that balance. Because they're fire energy too. They're fiery. Now, mind you, pentacle is earth signs. Okay? But to me, this is super balanced energy. And what I'm gathering from this is there needs to be a balance. So for my Aries that have been in really long-term relationships who feel like they've had enough, I think Spirit's trying to say that you need to look at yourself before you write off a relationship. Because if you don't look deeply at yourself, the areas in the relationship that you contribute to negativity, the positive things in a relationship, like the whole package, you're going to have regret regardless of what you decide. You have to... You have to look within, in, with, at yourself first because if you don't, you're going to spread your issues to the next relationship that you go in. And then you're then going to say, oh, maybe this was me. So take some accountability here a little bit. Balance out your energy and don't look to your partner to do it first. Because for all you know, your partner needs to see how it's done. So be the leaders that you are. Balance your energies, your practical and your metaphysical energy, spiritual energy. Be grounded. And your partner might reflect that right back in return. But the difference is your partner now brings that tangible shit into the household that you need. Be the leaders. Okay? Balance out your energy. Balance out your energy and you'll be surprised how people follow. Okay? Let's pull an angel card here for you guys. And if you are single, you need to balance out your energy and get release the, the, the negative hurt and pain so that you can enjoy something new. Um, for my single Aries, they'll be very careful of an ex coming back. And it might be an ex that you visually say, oh no, fuck. But might not be. I think it's more of a karmic tie, somebody that you kind of have done this makeup to break up thing for in the past. For some of you singles, it could be a soulmate. You know, a really 
you know, after everything you've been through, after all the hurt, the trial, the tribulation, you finally get it. Wow. Wow. Remember I told you you need to balance yourself? You need to merge these energies? Butterfly maiden transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessing. Let the change happen. Let the metamorphosis happen. Don't fight the change because it's extremely crucial to give you what you've been looking for out of your existing partner that you've been in a long-term relationship, maybe the father of your kids, maybe your husband, maybe your wife, maybe the mother of your kids. And you've been waiting for them to step up and I think they've been waiting for you to show them how. Lead by example and stop telling the person that you expect to lead, oh, you go lead and then tell them how to do it. Doesn't work like that, Aries. Leaders lead. Look forward. Don't look back. Okay, love you guys. I'll do your general reading first week of July. Um, please like, share, subscribe. And if you want an extended reading or um, um, a personal reading, just send me an email and I'll get back to you when I can. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, bye guys. Love you.